This is Code Combat. I'm currently working on Computer Science 2, the Python version. I'm on a level 11, back-to-back. -back. Goals. Villagers must survive, eliminate the ogres. Expand your code's possibilities by using else. Oh, perfect. Else is really handy in programs. Else is just like if, except, well, except else requires an if. Except it contains the code that should run when the if condition is false. Ah, I'm going to explain that. If enemy, this happens when there is an enemy. Hero attack enemy. Else, that's the, the else statement is what's going to be if there is no enemy. So, else, so hey, if there's not an enemy, do this. I don't see an enemy. Okay, let's see what we're going to do. Stay in the middle and defend. Check. Hero, so we create this variable enemy. Our hero looks around, finds the nearest enemy, and assigns it to enemy. If there is no enemy, enemy equals nothing. And that's why we have an if statement. We're checking if the variable enemy is equal to something, right? Did our hero find an enemy or is it equal to nothing? Either attack the enemy. Okay, attack. Got to hit twice, once, twice. And then in else, so if enemy, what the computer, we're asking the computer, if enemy is true, if enemy equals something. So let's say the hero looked around, found an enemy. And then we get to our if statement. If enemy, the computer says, yep, enemy is something. It will run this code. However, if our hero looked around and found no one, it will say if enemy, and the computer responds, no, false. Enemy doesn't equal anything. Your hero didn't find anyone. That's when it will drop down below and say, else, oh, I'll run this code. Or move back to your defensive position. So that would be our starting position, I guess, which is... 4035, I think. So move x, y, 30, 45. That's what I got. Oh no, 40, 35. 40, 35. All right, let's give that a try. Oh, great. So this was the code that worked for me. Awesome. Let's keep going. 